Okay, Brucham Aboyim, welcome everyone. It's Thursday night, we try to learn the Kedushas Levi. As I mentioned in the previous video, we are releasing probably tomorrow or the next day, or, you know, which will be Shabbos, so Sunday, uh, just a plain printing of the Kedushas Levi that will be available on Amazon if anybody would like to have it. It's, it's really just copied right from, right from, from Safari, uh, but, you know, it's regular public domain printing which is allowed on Amazon but uh, we are thinking of doing the English but I, I, I don't know so it's a, a lot of work and I'm not I'm not as not busy as I used to be that I would be able to do something like that but we can see anyway let's learn Vikach Karach Ben Yitzhar Ben Kahas Ben Levi Revere. we're in the book of Numbers chapter 16 verse 1 you'll excuse me that I have COVID so I'm a little bit out of it, uh, Korah, the son of Izhar, the son of Kohath, the son of Levi, and Dathan and Abiram took Hine. So the high of Berdichev, Rabbi Levi, is going to start searching for Berdichev. says, Behold, Harambana Kaddish to Kosav, the holy Nachmanides writes, Machmash Shemaraglim Yod O Shazer Hador Lo Yikon Su La Eretz Yisrael. That once the after the story with the spies, because of the spies, the generation understood that they're not going into the land of Israel because of this a little bit of the love that the people had for Moses was was damaged. Uh, that, that the Israelites had for Moses. This caused them to have a schism and to be suspicious against Moses. Uh, so that's that's why you have Shlach and then Korach. This is the basic summary of Nachmanides uh, here. Opinion. So the Slavi explains. Indian, the concept is there was the generation of the wilderness and the generation that entered into the land of Israel. The he name, behold, there are midbar, halashan, midbar, hudibar. So you have the, the generation of the midbar. Midbar, we translate the desert or the or the wilderness. Halashan, midbar, hudibar. So the word midbar. Desert or, or or wilderness is related to our Dibor, which means word. Chapolo called Badibor because everything that the people in the wilderness did was with their words. There are certain saints that accomplish everything, certain Sadiqim that accomplish everything with their words. They and they don't need to do any actions. See, this is the whole this is the whole issue like right now in the Holy Land. That you know, they're saying, Oh, the, the Yeshiva boys they have to go to, to the army, and then a lot of them they said, Well, we're fighting the good fight with Milchem Shal Torah, we're doing something that's what we believe. Uh, I don't know if Israel deserves the schus of their Torah, I think they should all come to America, let, let Israel fend for themselves because it's true that their Torah is protecting them, but do they deserve that protection? The heresy and the, and the idolatry and the murder and the and the and the and the, and the uh, debauchery and the apostasy. I mean, what, 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 the, 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 the more abortions and there's all, all kinds of, of of disgusting things going on in in the Platron Shomelech in the king's palace in the Holy Land. It's disgusting. It's, it's spitting right in God's face. All the disgusting things that they do there, and 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 they deserve the shmira of the of the lima the Torah from from Panovich and Mir. They don't deserve it. So so it's time for Panovich and Mir to come settle their plenty of room in the Catskills, and you can still have Cholov Yisrael milk and and glad kosher meat and whatever else, and sit and learn here. You don't have to be worried about Arabs attacking.
and let and then let the let the Israelis fed for themselves. Let the, let, they th they think their army is what's what's protecting them. They'll see what happens when all the Torah leaves are Israel. Same thing, Vishnitz and Bells and everybody else, and and, and Satmar and told us Aaron and Brisk, of course. Uh, I don't think they're giving any of their Torah to the Medina, but a little bit because they're there. There there is a schus that comes, you know. That's why Satmarov said not to go to the Kaisal. I don't understand the whole Indian, but it's, a, a, you know, a, at least they're not taking any Tmicha, but the ones who are taking Tmicha, anyway, that's, that's neither here nor there. But the point is, is that it's true, of course, that the limited Torah is what's protecting Eretzrael, and protecting the Eden Eretzrael, not, not, the, not the Tzahal. They, they're, they're just, they're just there. It's just a, just a spias and I am. And if you're offended, it's because I have COVID. And so my brain is addled. So let's go. The door shnichnesul Eretzrael, the generation that went into the Holy Land, but that, we're talking about Yehoshua ben Nun, said, we brought them in, and Sadiqim, not talking about what, what they have now. Room is how So I, this is a hint to the actions. So it's three chemasos ezepula. They had to do something. The kach Yehoshua, therefore Joshua kasha nilchem im lamed alef belochim. When Joshua fought with thirty-one kings, the war, I tzor chlasus ezemaisa. They had to do some deed. They also were learning. They were doing both, but but they were led by neviim and sadikim. They had Pinchas with the laws of an Aaron Akoyan. They had the laws of an Aaron Akoyan still. They had big tzaddikim. So, Eza Maisa Makita and Va'arev. So there was there was these actions, they fought these different people, Makita and Orev. Abu Moshe Shaya Badoyer Amidbar, but Moses was in the generation of the wilderness. I hired Tzarechas of Shumpul, he didn't need to do anything. Rakpola kol b'dibur. He accomplished everything with his words. Possession of Kavash Yehoshua's Yericha kol b'dibur. Aleinu shabeach. But Joshua had a, had that too, because he was still in the moon to Moses' his son. And so when they fought the battle of Jericho and the walls came tumbling down, uh, they did that with their words. They sang Aleinu, that we sing every every day after, or we say it, or we, or we mumble through it, or we we have the sitter open to it and we bow a little bit, right? This is a very powerful hymn. Lein l'shabeach, the very Rebbe Seder Zuchir Baruch. It's a, it's a Yerushalmi in white cotton. Hu mach v'shiricha kovish v'shabbos. The reason, though, that they didn't do anything physical was because Jericho was conquered on the Sabbath. V'voyer v'kis v'yari Yisrael, and it was signed in the writings of the Yeria Kodesh, or the Isaac Gloria. She ha-seichel, she yish l'hara b'chol, yish l'talmud v'shabbos. The level of intelligence that the master has on the weekday is what the disciple is worthy to on the Sabbath. And so on Shabbos, Joshua, on the Sabbath, Joshua was on the level of what Moses was on the weekday. So Joshua at that time had the, had the mind of Moses in the weekday. Moses accomplished everything with words. That's how Joshua conquered Jericho on the Sabbath through the words. But the other wars and I and the other kings, he had to actually do some physical fighting. So the Torah of Moses, the law of Moses, corresponds to the archetype of speech. Everything was accomplished by the Lord through words. But this is also clothed to the other archetypes of the spheros, of the attributes. Also in this world, it says in uh, scripture in Isaiah 44 verse 6 in Yerushan Menachron, I'm the first and I'm the last, says the Lord. When Korah saw that that generation would not enter into the land of Israel, 
I had mom in Bazaar. And he didn't believe in this. How does the Torah of Moses get in, in garbed even in this world of action? So this is that God paid him back word for measure for measure. Tiftachar it says pia, so the land opened its mouth. The land is the, the earth, that's the archetype of the world of action. To demonstrate that even the world of action has the, the garb of the Torah of Moses. That's why Korah is the son of Yitzhar, which means to shine. It's a, it's a terminology of shining. But Kohas, and the son of Kohath, Lashon Achdus, Al Shema Posek, Vleikas Amim. Kohath is related to unity, as it says in the verse in Genesis 49, verse 10, that the, the people are gathered to him. Ben Levi, the, the, the son of Levi, Lashon is Chavris Ainsham. Also, it's, it's a term of being connected it's over there, right? Also in Genesis, Ishi, when Leah gave birth to Levi, Leah gave birth to Levi, said, Now my husband will be attached to me. That Korah only believed in the world of speech that has these three archetypes. He didn't believe that this world of action also had the garb. Of, of the Torah of Moses, of Emma Shigamboy Lamasi meaning he was a person who thought the religion should just be in the mind and in the speech, but not in the action, you know. It's kind of like Protestant Christianity. They just think you just got to believe and be in the Word, but they don't, you don't have to do anything, right? At least the Catholics and the Orthodox, they say you have to do something. It's just the, not the same things we say to do. Um, but, but, Judaism is here in this world. Also in this world, there is the garb of of the Torah of Moses. As the scripture says, we quote from Isaiah, God says, I'm the first, I'm the last. Thank you for watching. God bless. Please like, share, and subscribe, comment. We'll see you later. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, six, seven, eight. How do I turn this thing off?